it's an evening celebrating women in STEM careers, and we host it as a way to get girls to be engaged with wildly successful professional women in other STEM careers. There's still disparity between women in science, technology, engineering, and math fields. There's still a predominant male uh, population, and we want to get girls over the barriers that prevent them from entering the STEM fields. Uh, so they meet these women, they get to talk to them, ask them questions, hear about their stories, their struggles, their trials and tribulations, and their big successes, uh, and how they've become successful in the STEM fields. This event is a geared towards all ages, uh, pretty much from kindergarten through 12th grade. Ideally, we like the middle school, we find it most effective in the middle school age. Uh, that's when girls really decide if they're gonna take off into the STEM fields, um, but it's open to all to inspire anybody that would find inspiration from it. I have to say, when I was invited to come, I, I thought, how did I go from where you are to deciding on electrical engineering, which is a pretty big decision. And I will be very honest with you and tell you that I basically flipped a coin. Um, I didn't have events like this. I hardly knew what a career meant or what was possible. Now, I've had a really interesting and exciting career, but I'm here to tell you that there's a lot of things that you can do starting right now to make you better prepared to make better decisions on your career path. So, oh gosh, so we have six panelists. I'm excited about all of them, but we have, uh, you know, a global health vet. She doesn't just work in a vet clinic. She teaches all over the world. She talks about public health diseases among animals. Uh, we have the chief economist for the state of California, Irina Asmundson. Uh, we have a principal engineer from Intel who works on solid state drives. We have uh, the, uh, the director of the forensics uh, lab here in the state of California doing DNA testing, things like that. Uh, we have an owner of an uh, engineering company. Uh, we have a sleep scientist. She studies, she was in the military for 20 years and now works uh, studying sleep habits for Mars astronauts and things like that. So we have such a wide variety of really interesting careers that I think we're lucky to have. I am obsessed with criminology and psychology and the, the crime lab person with the DNA stuff, that was really interesting to me because um, I'm a, I, I, I really was amazed of her bravery to go into court and talk to people. These really strong women who have been basically, they've been knocking down barriers that have been put up for years and years and they're, they're bringing back what it should be. Well, she was taking notes and my daughter's in second grade, an eight year old, and she was taking notes and I looked over her shoulder and what I saw was uh, words around, it's important to fight for what's right and to do what you believe in. So that right there was um, fantastic. It was inspiring to her to hear all these very high-powered women and who are leaders in their fields uh, talking about what they do and how what they had to do to get there. Um, and I think it's important for our kids to to hear those stories.